am grabbing a couple things and then I will be going live painting these cuties. I am so excited. This is a complete surprise live, but I needed a sample to take with me to a party tomorrow night. And I just created the file today. So I thought, let me just jump on and paint. So give me just a second. I am going to grab, I've got another something cute to show you before we start painting this. And I need to grab a skewer or some kind of little wooden stick of some sort. So I will be right back. I'm going to grab my paint colors and then we're going to paint. All right, friends. So I'm so excited to see y'all tonight. Well, I guess kind of. <laughs> so... I, I'm going to see a group of girls tomorrow night. I don't know exactly how old they are, but the um, director asked me if we could do flip-flops or a watering can with flowers. She liked the idea of the flowers, but she thought a lot of them would like the flip-flops. And it was too late in the game to wait for a decision since I had to cut. And so I just said, what if we did flip flops with flowers? And because I don't know what skill level they are, we have a really short amount of time. Um, I thought, let me do them 3D so they can just paint each of the pieces and like layer them on. And then they'll be super cute even if they're not a, um, you know, super skilled painters. Turn out cute no matter what. But before I get started, one of you sweet ladies posted your home decor box that you made and you had this adorable watering can and I found at Hobby Lobby today, this is a napkin ring, I found this really cute um, little watering can for two dollars and so I grabbed it and, oh, excuse me, I grabbed my hot glue gun and I thought, I am going to add that to mine. Y'all have amazing ideas. So I've got just a wooden skewer. How tall I want it to be. Let's see. It might be too tall. I think I'm going to break this off. Just roughly break this off. And then I'm going to glue this onto this wooden skewer and then stick it in here so that it'll look like it's watering the um, plants. All right. Hello, Miss Mary. So let me go ahead. I'm going to tilt it slightly down. Let me just put some glue in here. I have a new hot glue gun, um, and I don't know if it's not heating up. I don't feel like it. But yeah, I think it is, actually. Let's see. There it goes. Y'all see that? It's starting to smoke. <laughs> Is that a good sign? <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let me put this on here. Uh -oh. Let's see, it needs to be tilted like that. So let's do this. As soon as that catches. Okay, then I'm going to grab this. And Stick it right here. Okay. Oh, um, look, friends. That's kind of hard to see. But, um, and I'll kind of disguise the, um, what do you call it, the stick. I'm going to stick it behind something. But that is super cute. Okay. Can y'all see that? Super, super cute. You could paint it. Anyway, thought that would be super cute. Let's go to our team tonight. If you're new and you did not get, hey Lisa, hey Lisa, hey. Oh, I love y'all. Y'all are so awesome. If you did not get a link or um, a live alert, I need you to text me at the number. It will show up whenever I'm done with the live. Um, we're having a little bit of issue. I'm hoping to get it worked out. But if you did not get a live alert, I'm so, so, so sorry. Um, but we do want to get that fixed for you. So this is what we're painting. I, of course, my favorite color is hot pink. So my flowers are going to be hot pink. My flip flops are going to be turquoise. And oh, hello, Alicia from Alicia and 
black Helen. And then I don't know what color I want my straps. I might do, um, let me see, I don't know. I thought about doing uh, polka dots on my flip flops, but I may just do them plain. I don't want it to be too hard to replicate. So we'll see. But I'm cutting all kinds of stuff tonight. Whoops. Oh. All right. So let me get some of this paint. And I am using, hello, Duena. I am using my little um, squishy ice cube tray. Um, it is, washes out some. Hello, Miss Anna, Miss Diane, and Miss Karen. Now, this piece is etched. Ooh, yellow straps would be really cute. Okay, this piece is etched, but I'm not worried about those lines. Those are just so I can kind of match up my 3D pieces. So you can paint right over those. I'm still going to be able to kind of see them. Um, they're just to kind of give a guide and to help out. The polka dots on the straps, that would be cute. So should I do um, yellow straps with white polka dots? Or should I do yellow straps with pink polka dots? I don't know. Let me get there. Where did I find the tray? You mean this one? It should be in my Amazon affiliate store. But if it isn't, let me know. This one is larger. It has larger little holes than my old one. And I like it because it holds more paint, holds fewer colors, but it holds bigger, like a larger amount in each one of the little holes. And yellow and white. Okay. So thank y'all for joining me live tonight. I did not plan on going live. This was totally last minute. And look a little bit of a hot mess, but that's okay. Hey, yellow and green, that would be cute too. So I appreciate y'all joining me. I was afraid it was going to be a little bit too early. People commuting and all the things. I'm going to get this on here. Just a quick coat of turquoise. It is going to take two coats of turquoise but should be really fast. Now, I am trying to avoid the edges. I'm kind of brushing towards them with not a lot of paint left on my brush, just so that I don't have a lot of gloppy paint. It looks kind of crazy, but let's go with it for now. All right, I'm gonna set this down here and we're gonna grab I'm going to grab these because I know for sure these are going to be pink. And grab another brush. Grab my pink paint. Put it in another little holder. And then we're just going to slap some paint on here. Have any of y'all used the Tulip Slick for texture? I grabbed it. I thought maybe we would try it tonight. It may be a disaster, but hey, you don't know unless you try, right? Dude, that looks pretty. I like that color. Okay. All right. Same thing. I don't want to get a whole lot of paint on the edges. Just trying to quickly coat this, let that dry. This should be a really quick project. I think I actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to do white straps because I think that will make the flowers pop. Maybe, I don't, I don't know that I want to do too many colors. I'm looking now, let's let's hold this down and see. Okay, so we've got this. 
And then we've got these pretty pink flowers that are going on there. Well, maybe yellow and white. Okay, let's try it. Let me try white with yellow polka dots. Friends, I love having my um, paint right there. It's so convenient. And it, man, I've got like, I still have a lot of room on there for more colors. Okay. All right. There's my white. I did get this on the edges. Let me quickly brush that on. This is going to be so cute. Need one for each color. You would need one what for each color? Penny, let me know. You would need one paintbrush for each color? Or um, tray, maybe what I'm painting on. Oh, paint shelf. Girl, it holds 120 bottles. 120. Like, I took all of the little bottles that I had sitting out in the studio, like one of all the different colors, and I didn't even halfway fill it up. Okay. That's funny. You need a paint shelf for each color. Well, it holds a lot. And then it also holds the bigger bottles up on the top, which I really like. And then I can keep my big bottles up there too. Okay. Let's see. I've got this wedged in here. All right. I'm going to set this back over here in the swap spots. I'm just kind of propping this up. Letting these dry. Oh, man, my nose has been itching all day. Okay, second coat of turquoise is covering like a champ. How did I hang it? So it has holes. And I screwed it into this um, this like fence panel palette that I had, but you can hang it with anchors or um, it can even, you don't even have to hang it. It can also just stand up. It, it'll just stand up on its own. But I did, I did hang mine with um, some screws and hung them right into that wood. But if I was hanging them in drywall, I would definitely want to use anchors. Just because 120 bottles of paint is significantly heavy. And wood is a little bit heavy too. And what's really awesome is um, I designed it so that the middle of the flowers, there's some little flowers that are etched along the top. And the middle of the flowers is the screw head so that you can paint it to look like the middle of the flower and disguise it. So that was one of the things I wanted it to be as pretty as possible. Not an eyesore. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump up for just a second and go turn my air compressor off. So y'all give me just a second. I just heard the machine turn off and I don't want the air compressor to run and overheat. Okay, sorry about that. Try to be quick. Let's see, all right, I'm gonna grab these flowers and put one more quick coat of paint on those. That down. My pink paint. 
Okay, so somebody tell me, have y'all tried the Tulip Slick? Y'all know what I'm talking about? I've seen some of the other painters use it. And they use it kind of like a writer. Like, and I, anyway, it looks really fun. So I thought I might try it in the middle of these flowers because they do have a fun like swirl pattern that I etched on there. And I thought that might be super cute with but I've never used it before. So let's try it out. I think I'm gonna try it on this tray for this spinny Sue. Never heard of it. Okay. So this is the Tulip Slick. It is dimensional fabric paint. See what it. Oh, yeah, it's it's kind of fine. So I'm gonna try. Y'all know I, I shake pretty bad. Oh, it could be a hot mess. Yeah, that was a little bit of a disaster. Shake it really well. Okay, so let me fix this. Y'all know it's just paint. We can fix it. Um, oh, I did not go fast enough. So I'm going to wipe this off on something. So I can wipe it just like that. Pretty much just all wiped right off. Let me put, okay, well that was easy enough to get off. So let's try it again. I need to get my pink paint and put another quick coat on just so they're similarly coated. And let's try it again. All right, like I said, you'll know I shake really badly. <laughs> we'll see if I can do this. Let me practice. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, that did turn out cute. Can y'all see that? That cute? So I'm gonna try this other one. Again, it would probably be even better for someone who doesn't shake. I thought I could drag my tip back through there. Thicken that up. Um, guys, my, my trimmer is really bad today, but I still think it turned out super cute. Let me get this paintbrush, get some of that off. Yep, I like it. I do like it. Now, there's one is a little bit thicker than the other. It thickens the more you shake it. Okay, well, that's good to know. I'm going to do a little bit more to kind of thicken this one up. And I'm going to kind of drag my tip through it. All right, friends. Yeah, I like it. It's not as thin. I would love for it to just be like smooth and thin, but because I shake so badly, I don't know that I'm ever going to achieve that. Oh, you know what? Let's grab the black. Or like right here. Now you're really gonna have Let me grab the black and let's do some little dots in the middle of our flower. There's chickens out right out the window. They get out of their their pen and they're out walking around under the trees. So let's see. Let's just do some black dots around our swirls. Oh, that's pretty cute too. Can you see? Um, so just got some little, I think I might like it better without, but now that we did one, we have to do the other. I don't know, it's pretty cute. Let's see. Yeah, I think I like it. All right, so let's go back to our straps. We'll set these off to the side and let those dry. And then 
let me put another coat of white paint on these straps. Brighten those right up. I hope the ladies like how easy this is tomorrow night. They wanted to try to do something in about 30 minutes, which y'all know, like, you can't paint a full-size door hanger in 30 minutes. Just the sheer number of coats of paint normally make it take longer than that. So I thought these little flip-flops would be fun. Okay, there's that. Stick that in the water and then... I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of paint on our flip-flop. So let me blow dry these real quick. What's everybody making for dinner tonight? I don't know what my sweet family is having for dinner tonight. Yes. Well, actually, I'm not sure if the restaurant is going to allow us to have a lot of hair dryers, which is why I thought that if, um, if we have to, they can let them dry until the very end of the meeting and then glue them together. But yeah, 30 minutes. It's going to be kind of crazy. Okay, so of those sounds amazing. We had sausage and macaroni and cheese last night, which is like a throwback meal for us. Growing up, like anytime we didn't know what to have for dinner, before. mom was in a hurry, we had uh, sausage and macaroni and cheese. Ooh, any salad actually sounds really good to me. All right. I'm going to do just another thin coat. Ooh, Mary, sushi. I'm not going to lie. I had sushi with, for lunch today, and it was pretty delicious. So salad, sushi, sloppy joes. And I'm seeing a theme here. Everything starts with an S tonight for dinner. Y'all tell me what else y'all are having out there. Facebook world. Big paint boogie. I love sushi too, but I only like cooked sushi. Um, I don't eat the raw stuff. All right. Note to self, this um, Anita's is taking three coats. So I need to remember that. Oh, and it's really gloppy tonight. Maybe I should have a bad bottle. I feel like it usually takes this much, especially not for a a little bitty sign. Okay, funny story, guys. So, I well know I love me some faith based shirts. And I got up this morning and um, I gravitated toward this one, which said, Be the light or let your light shine. And I'm not going to lie. I find it really funny because today there were several times that I didn't want to be the light or let my light shine. Anybody else ever feel like God has a sense of humor sometimes when like, oh, yeah, that's the shirt I'm going to wear today. I'm feeling it. And then all of these situations test your patience. Yes. Okay. Steak on the grill. Sounds really good, Wendy. Hello, I think you forgot 
to invite me to a time's dinner. I can hop in my car. I want to know. Um, I want everybody to, in the comments, tell me what city and state you live in. Well, you don't have to say if you don't want to say what city, but I would love to know. Especially all of you ladies who are always on here with me. Um, how close y'all are to each other? I'm going to blow that. I think it takes a minute for me to start seeing comments. Wilsonville, Alabama. Okay, Lisa, tell me, what, like, where in Alabama is that? Huntsville, Alabama. Blytheville, hopefully I said that right, Arkansas. Finleyville, Pennsylvania. I love this. This makes me so happy. And I promise not to stalk you. Can you tell me where you live? Nippersonville, Tennessee. Okay, Jenny, how far are we from like Gatlinburg? Like, where is that in relation to Gatlinburg and Chattanooga? You know, I used to live okay, 35 minutes south of Birmingham. Okay. Okay, Lisa. Got it. Thank you. Um, Henderson, oh, because I used to live in Chattanooga and we frequented uh, Gatlinburg. Okay. So, I'm a I haven't decided. Y'all don't get mad at me. I haven't decided. I don't know if I want yellow on these or not. I can't decide, friends. I feel like I need to keep it simple. But yellow would be really cute, too. All right. I am just kind of wiping these edges down. I'm going to set this on here, but also... Maybe I should blow dry. Okay, so four hours from both Chattanooga and Gatlinburg. this down. We're going to look and see. Don't yell at me yet. We're going to look and see what this looks like without. Hey, made one. That's okay, Miss Teresa. Welcome. We're just all getting acquainted and talking about where we live in relation to each other. Okay. I'm not sure that's enough. I kind of feel like y'all are right, but it needs some yellow. So let me grab yellow. I really want this is a very pixelated, yeah, pixelated. That's not the right word. Pigmented. Man, brain is struggling today. Emily in Chattanooga, born in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia, not far from Chattanooga. I know exactly where Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia is. Megan, that's awesome. Um what part of Chattanooga do your family does your family live? We lived in the um, East Brainerd area for a while. Well, for about four years. All right, I've got some yellow. I'm actually going to add a little bit of white to it so that maybe it will cover better. 
with the first coat. And then I mix that up with the back of my paintbrush. And then we are going to make some polka dots on our board. Okay. So what size? I did not bring very many paintbrushes with me to the paint table. So I'm just going to make some quick polka dots. Now, most of these are only going to be halves. Oh, that's going to be cute. Okay, guys, y'all are right. I was wrong. Most of these are only going to be half, half polka dots since I don't have a lot of room. Oh, man, this is cute. Okay, y'all are the bomb. Y'all are right. And I say, I don't know what you're doing. Have I ever doubted you? I think for the um, paint party tomorrow night, I think I'm only going to take a few brushes for everybody because I'm thinking that that might be, um, it might be easier if they only have like two sizes paint brushes. That way they'll know which one to use if they want to make polka dots and they'll know which one to use to just paint everything else. What do y'all think? Yeah, I love this. This is super cute. I don't, I don't know. I was about to put a polka dot right there, but it's going to be covered up anyway. Okay, friends, y'all are geniuses. Y'all are geniuses. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down and then I will blow dry. Oh. Friends, look at that. Ah! What ladies are painting? It's um Penny, it's a group of ladies with um a business group. I'm not, I've never met them. Uh the director reached out to me and we were supposed to do something last year and then COVID happened. And so we're doing it tomorrow night. And it's at one of my favorite restaurants. It's a local place down in um Cambridge. And so I'm really excited. It should be a lot of fun. And they have the best pie in the world. Yeah, they do. Okay. I've got a really tiny, can y'all see this? Little bitty, 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 bitty um, super glue. I'm going to gently puncture it and hear it. Oh, there we go. All right. Now, because I have these etched lines, I can see exactly where to put my glue. Okay, so I've got my glue and now I'm going to set this down right there on those lines. And I'm just going to hold it for just, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. Let's see. I may end up um, doing a few accents on here too. All right, I think we're good. Oh, let me press down over here. Yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. And if they decide they don't want the flowers on their flip flop, they can always paint over, like, you know, so that you don't see the etching. Because right now I can still kind of see the etching. Let me hold it up there so you can see. But they can paint over that if they didn't want it. The etching. All right. So now I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put some super glue right there. And right there. And I did those wrong. I did. I did those. Oh, well, you know what? I committed. So we'll just have to go with it. I didn't exactly get them lined up. But guys, look how cute those are. And how easy. Oh my gosh, those were so quick and easy. Okay, so I think I'm going to do just a few accents. 
with a smaller paintbrush. Besides this funky kind of mess up one, I think I can do it. All right. So let me get some white paint, some fresh white paint. Oh, there's one I can use. Here's that one. Thank you, thank you, ladies. All right, so some fresh white paint. Let me get just tip, the tip of my brush. And I'm just gonna kind of drag this. Oh, I overdid it. We might have to paint a little bit over that. Main thing is I want to see where these flip flops are. Um, here we go. I want to see the separation. So let me grab my blue paint. I'm gonna touch up where I kind of overdid it. Oh, it did take you a month of Sundays. It did, because it's been a while. Let's see. But was it beautiful? I bet it was. I bet it was beautiful. So, friends, note to self, grab a smaller paintbrush when you go to do your accents, because otherwise you'll end up like me. Let's see. It doesn't help that I was shaken, too. So, I'm going to cover these up a little bit, and then... I'm going to grab a smaller brush. Give me just a second. Okay. All right. I'm glad she loved it. I'm glad she loved it. I bet that made it all worthwhile. All right. Just gonna smooth this paint out a little bit. Let's see. I can only imagine what it's gonna be like when my daughter gets married. Only imagine. All right, let's try that again. Holy crap. certain that you still look beautiful. All right. Let's see. And I wish I wasn't so shaky tonight. Does not make this part easy at all. I think that's good. I think we're going to leave it with just, well, I think I kind of want one right here. There we go. All right. So, Got those done. I wonder if I'll do a little bit on these polka dots. Here, it's hard to see from there, but it does add a little bit of dimension to the polka dots. And I think I might mix. Um, goodness, I might mix a little bit of pink and white together. And just gently brush these edges. Just so you can, so they kind of pop. Ooh, yeah, I can like that. That way you just see just a little bit. A little bit 
trying to not put my hands in wet paint. So those of you who are in my virtual paint party and you did your sign this month already, did y'all like the new 3D sprinkles? I hope y'all did because I'm excited about next month and the month after. I've already got most of them all cut. So um, I'm excited because there's some new fun stuff coming up. Okay, so here are our flip-flops. Can y'all see those? Just a little bit of um, something, something right here on the edges of the flowers. Penny says she just got hers. Yeah, the mail was super slow this time. I don't know what happened, but it was super slow. And I was out of the box sizes for some of y'all that... Um, so I had to ship everything to the post office this time. Um, the boxes that I usually buy, the store I get them from, is it, they were out. And so I had to ship with postal boxes. And those boxes can only be shipped with postal service. So anyway, I hope that y'all had a good time tonight. I am going to jump off, but I will um, see you guys very soon. And I'm so excited. We are shipping out the home decor boxes on the 25th. And then I will be, sorry, I'll be going live from Texas to um, show you all how to put those together. I will be on vacation with my family. And then um, I will also be going live from Texas, or I may pre-record the video. Um, of the virtual paint party this upcoming month. It's going to be super cute, another 3D design, and I'm super excited. So those are all cut. Most of them are already packaged, ready to ship. I just have to wait until all the payments process, and then I can ship all those out. So I hope that you all have a fabulous, fabulous night, and enjoy your dinner, whatever it is, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye, friends.